You want to start a business, but you don't want to spend any money. I mean, clearly, that's why you clicked on this video, right? You want to know how to start a business with no money. And first of all, I just want to let you know that you're not alone. I'm a business strategist and I help people start online businesses. And one of the most common emails I get is people asking, how can I start a business with no money? Or is there any business that I can start with no money? And I get these emails every single week. For a long time, they actually had me stumped. And I thought, you know, there's a lot of businesses you can start for not very much money. And I've made videos videos about those ideas before, you know, like businesses you can start for less than $100. But I didn't know if it was possible to start a business with absolutely no money. However, I really wanted to figure it out because obviously I had a lot of people who wanted to be able to do this and wanted to become their own boss and start their own business, but they didn't have money to invest. So after a lot of thinking, I figured out a way that you can start a business with absolutely no money, and that's what I'm going to be sharing with you in today's video. If you like this video, of course, make sure you hit that thumbs up button to let me know, and also make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss my next video. Okay, so if you want to start a business with no money, you need to go into this with a two-phase plan in mind. And here's what that looks like from a big picture perspective. You're gonna start one business with no money, okay? Absolutely no money. And then after you start that business, later on down the road, you're either gonna shift that business in a new direction or you're going to start a new business using the money that you made from the first business. And in just a few minutes, as I explain exactly how this big picture plan works, you'll see why you might want to start that second business or shift your first business. All right, so let's talk about that first phase of the plan where you're starting a business with absolutely no money. Now, if you don't have any money to invest, then obviously the options of different businesses that you can start are gonna be somewhat limited because a lot of businesses require a lot of capital and that just means money that you need to start the business. So you might need to invest in inventory or you might need to spend a lot of money on a website or on a warehouse or an office or hiring employees. Uh, but if you wanna start a business with absolutely no money, then you're not gonna have any of those things. So there's two kinds of businesses that you can start with no money, at least potentially. One of them is to sell digital products. So that means that you're selling something like eBooks or an online course or a membership site, something like that. So something that's not tangible, not something you can hold. And the reason why this could be a good option is because these things don't necessarily cost any money to make. You can design an eBook using a free design program like Canva or even inside Word and then just export as a PDF. There's all sorts of ways that you can make a digital product. Um, and then if you've got one of these guys, a cell phone, then you can even make videos and then put those videos on YouTube or some other hosting website and turn them into an online course. So you can make digital products completely for free. Then the second type of business that you could start completely for free would be a service-based business. And that's where you're providing some sort of service, you're doing some sort of work yourself for a customer. So this could be you being a virtual assistant or a video editor or a bookkeeper, tons of options there. You know, there's hundreds of different service-based businesses that you could potentially start. Some of them you might have the skills to actually start right now, and others you could learn the skills to be able to provide those skills to customers. Now, between these two different main types of businesses, digital product businesses or service-based businesses, service-based businesses are more likely to actually be completely free to start. And that's because if you're selling digital products, there typically are a few small expenses because you're normally delivering those digital products via a website and a website normally does cost at least a little bit of money. Also, you might have some costs associated with making the product, like you might want to make an online course, but you want to put it on some sort of software that will help to deliver the course to your students, or you might want to make an ebook, but you need someone to help you design it. So there could be some small costs associated with a digital product business. There doesn't have to be, you could start it for free, but if you want a business that is more likely to be completely free to start, then I'd recommend going the service business route. Now, if you want to find out about different opportunities for service-based businesses that you could start, then check down below for a special link where you can download this for free. I put this together for you guys, and I think you'll find it really helpful. It is a list 
a, a very long list. I don't know if you can see, there's a lot of pages here. A very long list of 50 different service-based businesses that you can start. And on this list, you will find not only the name of the job that you could do, so like what service you could actually provide, but then there's also a description of what that service actually is in case you've never heard of it before. And then there's a list of the skills that you need in order to do that service. And then there's also the average annual income that you could earn with that service. And so, like I said, there's 50 different jobs on this list. So if you want to find out a lot of opportunities, if you want some options on service-based businesses that you could start, then check down below. It's completely free and you can download this and print it out. Okay, so once you have decided what type of business you're starting, whether you're starting a product-based business or a service-based business, and exactly what service you're offering or what digital product you're selling, there's one other really key ingredient that you need to have in your business if you want it to be successful and you have to be able to do this for free if you want to start the business for free and that is promote or advertise your business because you're not going to make any money and you're not going to be a real business if you don't have paying customers right if you're not making money with your business so you have to figure out some way to promote your business for free if you're trying to start your business for free so real quick, I'm gonna share with you six different ways that you can promote your business completely for free. Now, of course, there are lots of other ways you can promote your business that cost money, some of which might be more powerful than these ways I'm going to mention. But again, if you're trying to start your business completely for free, then you gotta figure out some way to get your hustle on and find those first customers. The first way you can promote your business for free is using email. So you know people right now, you might have some sort of professional network, you might just have friends and family, whatever, you have you know some people you've got their email address so when you start your business you can use your brain and think who on my contact list who do I know who either might be interested in this service or in this product that I'm selling or more likely who might know someone who is interested so maybe your mom or your dad or your cousin or your best friend reach out to them tell them I'm starting this new thing okay it doesn't have to be elaborate it doesn't need to be a pitch you can just let them know hey life update I'm starting this new thing I'm doing virtual assisting for people okay so I'm helping people run their businesses online or I'm doing video editing or I'm becoming a bookkeeper whatever it is just tell them what you're up to share with them in a nice friendly way and then let them know at the end of the email by the way if you know anyone who's looking for services like this or who would be interested in this I'd really appreciate if you could send them my way or if you could let me know okay so obviously not a complicated strategy here but a completely free and B really just a simple basic thing that you can do to start telling people what you're up to and getting the word out about your business because just telling people what you're doing is a big part of marketing and advertising. The second way that you can market your business completely for free is here on YouTube. So YouTube is actually a search engine and there's lots of people on YouTube who want to learn how to do something or need help in some way. And so if you can make videos that relate to the service or the product that you're selling and also provide help or support or inspiration or any other type of value to the people who will be later interested in buying your services, then you can start to get an audience and use that as a platform to advertise your services. Now, of course, you don't want to make commercials and put them on YouTube or anything like that. Probably people aren't going to watch them unless they're particularly fantastic but by providing helpful content to the types of people who would be interested in buying what you have to offer, you can then share your website with them, share your services. You can just mention at the beginning, I'm a professional video editor, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do this video editing thing. So in that way, you can, like I said, grow your audience and start to find your customers. And bonus, not only is this free, but as you might know, if you've been watching my channel for any amount of time, you can actually make money doing this um, I make a fair amount of money every single month from my YouTube channel and I have videos talking about exactly how much money I make from it. You can check those out down below. But that can help your business make more money, help you support yourself. You can take that money and reinvest it into other kinds of advertising or into your future business, which I mentioned before and we'll get into a little bit more in just a minute here. But anyway, it's more than free. It's actually something that can make you money. 
The third way you can promote your business for free is on other forms of social media. So you can grow an Instagram following or your Facebook page or create a Facebook group or on Twitter. Obviously you've got lots of options there. Pretty much all of them are completely free. There's ways you could spend money on it by doing professional photo shoots or different things like that. But for the most part, completely free. But again, just make sure that you're not spamming or just trying to be completely commercial. You wanna focus on helping people and supporting the people who would be interested in buying what you have to offer. The fourth way that you can advertise your business for free is to network. Now you can do this locally with a local networking group in your town, or you can go online, join like a Facebook group or some online forum that relates to your industry or for one reason or another is full of the people who, again, would be interested in buying what you have to offer. So you can get in these groups and you can start to build relationships with potential customers. You can also build relationships with other people who are offering the same service that you offer so that you can learn from them how they're getting customers for their businesses. Now, networking is probably one of the slower ways to actually get your first customers, but it can be really valuable because over the long term, you're building up relationships and that can help your business to get a lot stronger but also you're learning a lot in the process because you're talking to your potential customers you're finding out what their pain points are what kind of services they actually want what they consider to be a good service or a bad service you know what they liked about working with one person or didn't like about working with another person so you'll get an education in the process of growing your network and getting your customers the fifth way that you can advertise your business for free is by listing your business or your service in a free directory that is for people in your industry or people in your niche. So you can find these really easily. Just Google whatever your industry is and then directory. So you can look up like piano teacher directory or web designer directory or how to find a web designer and you'll find a list of people who offer that service and chances are you can get yourself on that list. Some of these directories won't be focused on a specific location, but only on a specific industry or service. And those are good for if you're doing a job online. And then other ones are focused on a specific area. So maybe it's a list of piano teachers in a certain city or something like that. Um, so just make sure that if you're offering local services, then you find a local directory. And if you're offering services online, then you find a location independent online global directory. Okay. Okay, and then the sixth way that you can promote your business for free might sound a little bit weird, but is actually to use Craigslist or other local listing sites. So for example, these days we've got these free Facebook groups where people can sell different items or different services or post jobs. And Craigslist might seem or might not seem like a weird place to list your services. But when I was running my local business for about 10 years, even though we advertised in a lot of different ways, I mean, we advertised on the radio, we advertised with, on billboards, signs around town, Facebook ads, I mean, we did everything. But Craigslist was actually where we would get a lot of our customers and part of the reason for that is because Craigslist has really good search rankings. So if you want to get found when people are actually looking for someone who does the service that you offer, then you want to be on that first listing that shows up on Google. If Craigslist is one of those first few listings, then you need to make a posting on Craigslist so that people can find you in that way. Okay, so that's pretty much everything you need to do to start a business completely for free. You need to decide what kind of business you're starting and choose something that you can do for free or some service or product that you can provide for free. And then secondly, you need to have a free way to promote it, to advertise it so that you can get customers and actually start making money. So I could end the video right there, right? And just say, okay, that's how you start a business for free. But I wanted to talk about the second phase of the process where maybe you're taking your business in a new direction or you're starting an entirely different business. And here's the reason that you might wanna do that. Basically, that first business that you started, it might not be your dream business. There's a few different reasons for that. I mean, first of all, like I said before, there's a limited number of businesses that you can start completely for free. So maybe you have a business in mind that you really wanna start that wasn't something you could do for free. So it might be that simple, but beyond that, all of those businesses that you can start for free, at least all the service-based ones, they require you to work specific hours to get paid an hourly rate. 
great. And so because of that, they're not very scalable. And what I mean by that is you can never earn more than a certain amount of money, which is like the maximum you could charge times the maximum number of hours you could work. That's going to be the cap on your salary. There's not a huge problem with that, but it's better if you can kind of blow that top off of that and make it so that you can develop passive income, which means that you can do work that you then sell multiple times over and can make an unlimited amount of money. So for example, if you make a course on how someone else can edit their videos instead of just editing videos yourself, then you can sell that course and make, like I said, kind of an unlimited amount of money because you can sell thousands and thousands of copies of that course without having to do any more work yourself. But when you're first starting out and you don't have any money, you, there might be some things that hold you back from being able to do that. Like maybe you need to pay your bills right now, so you need to get some service-based work, start actually editing videos for clients so that you get paid sooner. Or maybe you don't have a camera yet, or you wanna put your course on some specific website that's a platform to host the course itself, to sell it to people. So there's some different things that could hold you back. And so that's why I'm saying that maybe you'll wanna take your business in a new direction, or maybe you'll wanna start a completely different business because you couldn't start the business you really wanted to start completely for free. But the reason that I would encourage you to kind of do this two phase process and start a business now that you can start for free that will get you off the ground and then later start your actual dream business or take your business in that direction is because that first business that you start, even if it's not the perfect business you really want to be running, it still is going to do so many positive things for your life. First of all, it will get you off the ground, you'll become your own boss, and you'll get that flexibility that you really want. Uh, but second of all, you're also gonna get a lot of experience from it so that later on when you start your dream business, it's a lot more likely that it will be successful because you've already learned a lot of things running that first business. And then finally, of course, the first business is creating that capital. It's allowing you to make some extra income so that you're able to start the business that you actually wanna start. So rather than just waiting and waiting until one day maybe you can finally start the business you wanna start, it would be better to do something now that gives you that flexibility and allows you to save some extra your money to make that second business actually possible. Okay, so that pretty much is it. We've got this two-phase process. In the first phase, you're starting a business to start making money now. You're choosing a type of business that you can start for free, like one of those service-based businesses that I mentioned, like one of the ones you can find on the list of the 50 service-based businesses. Again, free link down below to download that. Um, and then the second part is you're figuring out a way to promote your business completely for free so that you can get your first customers and start actually making money with it. And then the second phase of the process is where you either take your business in a new direction that gives you more flexibility and produces passive income, or you start a second business, a new business that is the business that you really wanna start, your dream business, but the first business that you created allows you to be able to have the means both in terms of flexibility and in terms of money to be able to really turn that dream business into a success. I have one other free resource that I just wanted to mention to you real quick, and that is my easiest business plan ever, because for starting a successful business, you need to have a plan. It doesn't need to be a 20 page exhaustive document, but having just a couple pages that really outline exactly what your business does, how much you charge, and how you're promoting your business, simple stuff like that, can really help you to stay focused and to give you a clear picture of your business, and that can save you a lot of time and help you become more successful more quickly. So you can download my free easiest business plan ever down below and it's just about two pages long, fill in the blank sort of stuff. I think you'll find it really helpful. Okay, well that's everything for today's video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and also leave me a comment down below. Let me know exactly what you thought about the video, especially in terms of like, did you get an idea for a business that you could start? Is the process clear now? Are you going to start your own business? And do you know how you can do it for free? So talk to me down below in the comments. I'd love to see that. Also, if you haven't, make sure you subscribe to my channel because I make two videos every week about success, entrepreneurship, and personal development, and I would love to have you join me for the next one. 
you can click right over here to subscribe right now and then after you subscribe you can click right over here to watch a video I made all about how to start a business in one week and it shows you the step-by-step -step process of every single thing you need to do to get your business off the ground again thanks so much for watching my name is Gillian Perkins and I look forward to seeing you again next time